Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Travis, and I play in a band called Atreyu, and you're watching Caliber TV. So what can you guys tell fans about what led you all to break up, and then even more importantly, what led you guys to reunite? Um, well, we never, like, officially broke up. I mean, prior to us, like, kind of going into hibernation, we, uh, you know, for 10, 12 years, if we weren't writing, we were recording. If we weren't recording, we were touring. If we weren't touring, we were writing. So it was, like, nonstop for th that amount of years, and um, we just kind of needed time to step away from Atreyu. And yeah. You know, as dumb as it sounds, find ourselves. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, toward the end of that last run that we did, like we were all just fried and burnt out. Like we were all sick, and we were on just there was no morale left. Really, we were just kind of going through the motions, or I was anyway. Yeah. Um, not that I didn't like playing or anything. It was just kind of like, okay, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Okay, I'm going to play a show in Sydney, Australia. Yay! <laughs> and you know, that's like I started taking it for granted you um, want to be re-excited about it right yeah yeah. you want to get like reinvigorated and um and that's where we're at now like we're we just played a show uh, the other day in our hometown it was like all smiles yeah on the stage. i, uh, I saw fun. that you guys played that in chain reaction the other day and yeah. it sold out in damn near record time yeah it was something like uh, like less than a minute or something which i mean i've if you told me <laughs> when I was 15 that I'd sell out Chain Reaction in, <laughs> in you know, less than a minute, I would have laughed in your face. Do you um, feel yeah, like, it was cool. Do you feel like, the, like that show and now being here at Aftershock, do you feel like that's kind of like validating your guys' comeback from hiatus? Or? Yeah, I mean, you know, that show at Chain Reaction was kind of like, okay, we did that. It was, we killed it. It was fun. Everybody had a good time. And it's like, okay, what can we do now? Well, let's do Aftershock. Yeah. Which is awesome because it's still, it's California and like what better place to be in. Well, maybe in summer the heat's a little it, rough. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've been to many hotter places during the summer. So this yeah. isn't too bad, but you know, um, you know, playing a show like this is awesome, but awesome way for us to, you know, kind of re reintroduce ourselves, I guess. So yeah, we're stoked to play today. It'll be fun. That's awesome. So your new song, So Others May Live, is a little different from where you left off with a tray you last. What can you tell fans to expect to hear from you in the future? Um, I really can't say what to expect because then if I say something, somebody's gonna be like, oh, well, that's not what you said. Yeah. And so, I mean, we, we wrote like a couple, like three, three or four songs and it wasn't like, okay, we, they have to sound like this or they have to sound like that. We just got in a room started writing whatever came out came out um and so a, a good uh gauge of that is that so others may live song um and so far i mean for the most part i think the response for that song has been really awesome so yeah um yeah we're stoked well i'm sure treyu fans were missing you all terribly during your break so what were you guys doing to kind of occupy your time or keep you busy during that break um whoa jesus uh, Alex, our singer, he opened up his own gym, and um, so that kept him busy, very, very busy. Uh, Brandon, uh, he had uh, another project, or still has a, a project called Hell or High Water. Um, he's busy with that. He was doing some freelance writing. Um, I was also doing some freelance writing. I had another project called Fake Figures that I was doing. Um, I was playing uh, guitar in a in that band, Trapped. Um, touring with them pretty much nonstop, and mark our bass player um doing a lot of you know art photo stuff and dan our guitar player uh he has his own merch company and um you know he's got his hands in different things too so yeah we even though we weren't active as a trade we were still all like really busy Activist yeah people. exactly yeah yeah which is i think kind of why we needed to take a hi hiatus to you know experience experience you know, life alone. without a trade yeah <laughs> <laughs> well it's been awesome talking to you travis awesome. so thank, thank you. you for your time and for caliber we just frankly signing off have a good day guys